Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Oh my god, it's been a while since I've done a makeup video. I am back with a makeup inspiration from Lisa from Blackpink. This is supposed to be where the picture is. But I was inspired to do this look because I've always wanted to do the look with all the little gems on the face. And I honestly thought that trend kind of went away. But after I saw this poster, I am bringing it back for Blackpink. Okay, just gonna get right into the face. I have a bare face, have my moisturizer. It's gonna go into concealer because I don't have any foundation. We're gonna try to make our face look as flawless as possible like Lisa without foundation. This is one of my favorite concealers. It is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And this is only like six or seven dollars, I think. Super affordable. It doesn't hurt to try it out. Oh my God, who's excited for black pink? Ah! And Selena Gomez is featured on this song. I'm just so happy that Blackpink is coming back more than once in a year. We always, since their debut, we've only gotten like one song a year or so. I mean, except for the beginning, but yeah, we've been thirsting. The blinks have been thirsting for our girls. I love this concept that they have for um, ice cream. I think that's what the single is called. It is more of what they call the pink side, I guess, the girly fun side. I don't think we've seen that since in a music video since like as if it's your last oh my god such a long time ago okay i'm gonna go over some pimple spots like here and maybe right up here i've been spending a lot of time in the sun so i think the darkness on the forehead is due to a lot of sun exposure but it's okay it kind of gives me like a natural bronze <laughs> so i don't really bronze my forehead as much anymore just want to even this part out Now we're gonna set everything with the Innisfree with Mentos No Sebum Powder. This is a super fine powder, so it will definitely keep you very matte all day. So like I said, I have been getting a little bit of sun, a little bit more than a little bit. So my body is more tan than my face. I'm gonna use a little bit of bronzer to kind of even out the perimeter so it kind of blends better. You don't see a lot of heavy contouring in a K-pop makeup, but um, it's just, for me to seamlessly match my neck to my face. Now we're gonna go into the brows. Her brows are covered by her bangs, so I'm just gonna do my brows. Uh, normally, I like them a little fuller, a little thicker, a little fluffier. It's been so hot in my room that, or in general, that the Anastasia dip brow that I have that was that is usually just super dry, kind of loosening up a little bit. <laughs> So it's easier to grab the pomade. I'm gonna take a brow pencil just to fill in some sparse areas where I want a little bit more volume. When I use the brow pencil, I usually run it under the arch right here because I kind of want to make it a little more straighter as straight as possible. My arch is pretty archy, so I'm trying to fill it in at the base here. Now we're gonna go into the eyes. I'm using the Modern Renaissance palette. She doesn't have much of an eyeshadow look going on and even if there was, again, her bangs are kind of covering it. So I'm just going to do a really simple wash of color all over the lids. I'm going to take burnt orange right here just to give the eyes a little bit of color. I mean, that's pretty much it. I do see a little bit of a golden highlight right in the inner corner down here at the bottom. So I'm going to take the color Primavera in this palette, which is a shiny golden shadow. Her eyelashes are pretty thick at the top, so I don't see any liner that she's wearing, but I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a liner using this eyeshadow here called Cypress Umber. Now comes the scary part, which is putting on lashes. I'm gonna be using the same lashes as I did for my ABG video, which is the Ardell lashes in the second one right here, it's 601. I think her, her lashes are kind of spiky and they flare out at the end. I think this one matches it the best. I'm gonna be using the trusty uh, House of Lashes lash glue. I have had no time to really practice putting on lashes yet, so I am still a noob. I am going to do this off camera and come back to you so I don't waste all my memory space trying to put this on. Got the lashes on. What I also did off camera was I took a black uh, liquid liner and I filled in some of the empty space between the lashes and the false lashes and my lash line because I didn't put it right on my lash line. My eyes kind of drooped down a little bit. So to create that kind of fluttery fanned out look at the end, I placed the lash a little higher and then filled it in with the black liner. 
Okay, let's move into a little bit of blush. Her blush is almost non-existent. It's barely there. So I'm taking my lightest blush. This is Nude Peach from 3CE. Just gonna give myself a light wash and prep her cheeks for all the jewels. So I have a bunch of nail jewels and nail glitter little confetti things. I got all this stuff off of eBay and Amazon. It's super cheap and affordable. Here is a wheel. Oh, here is a here is a wheel. Focus. No, you. Oh, there you go. Here is a wheel of different colors and different shapes. Here is another wheel of different colors and different shapes. Focus. There you go. I am just going to go ham. I'm gonna place the glue on and then place the little gems on i have this dotting tool for nails for the glue and then a little pair of tweezers look at these slanted tweezers to put the gems on man ideally i would have gotten clear glue but i don't have clear glue i'm just gonna have to be working with the uh black totally forgot to push the play button or the record button but i've already got dotted some of the glue and i'm just starting to put the little gems on Oh my god, this one's a little bow. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yo, these little freaking gems are gonna be all over my floor. Oh my god, I only have five on and that took forever because these little things are so small. So I'm gonna do a few more off camera to save my memory and battery. She definitely has way more on her face than I do, but that took way too long. I also spilled some fun gems, so it is all over my floor. <laughs> I'm gonna go back into the eyeshadow palette just one more time, add that burnt orange color right here into the lower lash line, just so it balances out the eyes a little bit. The last thing we're gonna do for the face are the lips. <coughs> She has a very shiny, orangey lip, so I'm gonna first start off with ColourPop's Ultra Blotted Lip in the color Vitamin C, and then I'm gonna top it off with a gloss also from ColourPop. This one is called Champagne Mommy. Champagne Mommy. It is a nice orangey gloss with a lot of glitters in it, little glitters. Very close to what she was wearing. Oh my god, this is so fun. It's so unfortunate that I have to just take it all off after because I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> okay, we're gonna finish off with the hair. She has two little like twisty space bun type. I think they just twisted and twisted and twisted her hair and then kind of just organically laid it down and then put little clips on it. I have my clips from like the 90s or the 2000s or whatever, so I have some options here. I have two purple flower clips, kind of similar to the ones that she's wearing. And I also just grabbed two little mini purple jaw clips, just in case the flowers don't hold out that well. I took out a pink option, but um, I don't think I'll use these ones. I'm just gonna go with the purple since that's what she's wearing in the video. So let's do this. Should I zoom you guys out a little bit? I have not tried this hairstyle yet, so. <laughs> We'll see. Just brush out the hair. I don't have bangs like her, so our foreheads will be exposed. But I do have a little bit of little Lee's whisker things going on, so maybe I'll leave them out. Okay, so I'm gonna start from behind the ear. All right, you guys. I had to change my game plan a little bit. I am taking little clear elastics and tying up the section of hair that I'll be working on. My arms were in the air for so long. Just trying to twist it. Okay. Can I just stop here? I mean, this is already a cute look, right? I think I'm gonna use two sets of clips because these jaw clips are a little bit bigger and they will hold my hair. My hair is kind of thick. And then I'll just use the little purple flower ones as decor. Okay, here we go. Second attempt. I have given up on the twisties. Look at my hair. My hair is like, look at it, it's going everywhere. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prop up the little pigtails with these little jaw clips from the back, just so they stand up a little bit like that. I'm gonna use the flower clips and just clip them to the front for decor.
Man, that was way easier. I should have just done that. The little twisty things, if you guys can figure it out, please share, because I spent 10 minutes just trying to fix my hair. All right, let me zoom you guys out. I turned off the fan so I can do this outro, so my hair won't be blowing in my face. So I'm gonna make this quick. This is the finished look. The hair is not what I wanted it to be, but this is as good as it's gonna get. I do like the style, how it's just kind of like little ponytails propped up like that. Super cute. If you had bangs, that would be even more true to what Lisa's style and her look is. I got these little little tails here on each side. I kind of kind of give myself like SES look. The Korean girl group from the 90s, SES. This is what's happening. Oh my god. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was really fun to recreate. I'm just gonna sit in my room and enjoy this. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out Blackpink and Selena Gomez's new single coming out on the 28th, Ice Cream. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.